Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys to any of you having a car. It could be any gasoline, diesel car guys. And you want to know what are the symptoms of bad connecting rod bearing guys. Stay with us, we'll explain that today. What you can expect, how you can avoid that, what most likely causes bad connecting rod bearing and how to, okay, uh, fix it. So. Uh, if you keep driving guys with bad connect connecting rod bearing you will cause so much damage to your engine that it will not be rebuildable and uh, we'll explain why so all that will be covered today before we start let me tell you a little bit about us every single car we get at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos why we do that simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need guys in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep making these absolutely free videos for you if you need to buy any parts tools for a good price and quick shipping check out the link in the the description of the video below that's where we get all our tools and supplies from so with that being said let's explain what we have specifically here this engine guys is a 2.4 gasoline engine now we bought that car actually uh, the customer guys okay there is a story behind it uh, developed a knock so when a road bearing goes bad usually guys okay the first thing you hear a knock but uh, before we get to that point let's explain what is a knock bearing a uh, rod bearing now so if you look guys okay let me just uh, move that thing a little bit okay to right here okay perfect so we can explain uh, you have the crankshaft guys right crankshaft is down there so the crankshaft now okay uh, connects uh, to the piston through the connecting rod so when you have a combustion uh, the gasoline and air explodes it pushes the piston down which is connected through uh, the connecting rod to the crankshaft and the crankshaft will turn it will go to the transmission will turn transmission and you will develop power and from there go to the wheels but now between the connecting rod and the crankshaft you should have a bearing okay because otherwise things will be tight and you will not be moving and you have rod bearings that's a rod bearing that's actually <laughs> worn, worn quite a bit that bearing okay there is a uh, there is a uh, oil between the bearing and the crankshaft all the time when you start your engine okay uh, it runs on uh, oil pressure so that way okay things will not get hot the bearing will not uh, get worn and the engine will not seize up or get locked up but when those bearings get old guys okay and we'll explain what causes wear so make sure to stay until the end they will get wear that will develop guys a play between the bearing okay and the crankshaft and that uh, that uh, play usually will transfer into a knock you will start hearing a knock from the connecting rod and often you may even okay notice that the knock sensor may pick up a code something that relates to a knock sensor uh, because that knock okay will be developed will be transferred to the engine box to the knock sensor and it will send that information to the engine computer that will analyze it but it cannot tell you that you actually have a bad rod bearing nobody can okay except uh, computer cannot do it only human can detect that uh, it may give you a code for a knock but uh, the rod bearing knock sounds okay very distinctive and we have a special video that explains what rod bearing knock sounds like how to distinguish it and all that stuff so check it out it on, it's on the channel what rod bearing sounds like check it out now when you develop that knock sometimes you may have just a few seconds before you can safely turn the engine off and have it rebuilt or sometimes you may have a few minutes you never know but sooner or later that bearing guys will spin to the point that it everything will get really hot it will be glowing hot it will cause quite a bit of damage to the crankshaft check it out now that cylinder number one with spun bearing check out the condition of the crankshaft how bad and worn it is and now check out the condition of crankshaft on cylinder number two which is nice bearing okay guys you can see how nice and clean it is right it's amazing this is the connecting rod on bearing number on cylinder number two this is cylinder number one okay comes in pieces now uh, the thing about it is if you keep driving everything will get really hot you can see all that smoke is from failing connecting rod bearing inside the engine you will get your uh, oil really hot and uh, sooner or later even pieces from the bearing come out you put them everywhere through the system you can see uh, pieces of the uh, of bearing dust practically made it in that bearing and they cause quite a bit of wear so if you keep driving eventually the oil filter will not be able to pick any uh, everything and uh, what happened it got locked up but the rest of the engine one piston got locked up 
three were still going and it snapped the connecting rod in two which by the way broke a piece which got stuck in cylinder number two this is the connecting rod on cylinder number two it broke a piece off of it and cracked the engine box so at that point okay we cannot practically rebuild that engine without spending more money than buying a new engine because we'll need to buy a new engine box we'll need to have the crankshaft resurfaced and it may be so bad that you may not be able to do that with oversized bearings you need to buy connecting rods and you get quite expensive at that point now if you hear the knock and you stop your car safely what can happen guys okay you will need to just remove the crankshaft connecting rods okay uh, they will resurface the crankshaft in the machine shop put oversized bearings and you have uh, practically new crankshaft new rod bearings new main bearings and that will take care of it now but what causes the rod bearing okay wear and knock let's explain now number one thing not changing your oil on time number two if you don't use good quality oil okay this is amazing oil by the way by, that we use not sponsored uh, it hasn't been sent to us we just use it it's amazing uh, leaky moly is uh, one of the best oil that i personally run myself and if you use cheap oil you will put wear on your bearings and uh, number three when you start your car let it warm up a little bit especially on cold days before you start driving it because if you rev it up with cold bearings cold oil the oil will be thick it will not lubricate correctly and at that point you can guys okay eventually start putting wear and wear and more wear on those bearings and they will fail so hopefully the video will be helpful to any of you uh, needing help with that thank you for watching and see you next time